Have you ever stopped and had a conversation with your 80-year-old self? Hi, my name is Pedram Beshti, and today I'd really like to drive in on this topic of projecting out into the future and having a conversation with your future self to really define all the things that you're doing today, would they have really mattered? I mean, it, it's just going to be you. And this is a crazy thing that I think about right now is with all the opinions of others and what everybody else is telling me what to do, what society is telling me what to do. And most cases, people who really love me that are telling me what to do. I'm sorry to say, but like when I'm 80 years old, a lot of these people are going to be gone. It's just you and you and you look back onto your life and you think about all the things that you've done from this point till then. What would have really mattered? We as a populace are constantly busy, bombarded, by living the life that we're supposed to live as per the opinions, as per the prescription of what society wants from us, such as going to school, getting a job, getting married, and just getting into the workforce and just being busy. But I mean, is that really what we were supposed to come down to this world to do? You can actually create the life of your dreams. It takes work and it takes consciousness and it takes you know living a more pur- purposeful life. And, you know, separating yourself from that constant rat race and that constant flow of how society is to say that, you know, this is my life. This is what I want to do. And yes, it's going to sound weird. It's going to sound odd to your family, your friends, your coworkers, because, you know, what they see is maybe the image that you have created It could be the ego that uh, is actually controlling aspects of your life. But who you truly are deep down inside can be completely different and far-fetched from what you're actually projecting out into the world. And, you know, finding that courage to be yourself in all of your authenticity is, is, it's scary. But at the same token, it's so liberating. And... You know, the solution to the problem that was mentioned in the beginning of the video is to just be curious and actively engage in your life from a third perspective. You know, that it's so easy to just get caught up in the day-to-day grind. You know, for myself, I have two beautiful young children and a wife and friends and family and a job and Yes, I can easily just say every day it's busy, but you have to find pockets of time wherever it is to just kind of listen. So you have to be curious and you have to listen. By listen, I mean to feel your body and actually how are you feeling in the morning when you wake up? How do you feel in the evening when you go to sleep? And then how do you feel throughout the day? And if you start to register and see that you're not really feeling that great, then that kind of gives you a little bit of a spark to know that, hey, maybe I'm not in alignment with what I'm supposed to actually be doing in this world. And, you know, I think that's the first step in anything remarkable is to kind of stop, step back, take inventory of what you're doing and, um, you know, move towards the life that you can create for yourself. So I would really love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this concept of, you know, stopping, taking inventory of your life and actually seeing if it feels right for you. Thank you so much and uh, look forward to talking to you on the next video.